Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Man Pro Engineering. This should be our final installment of the Nico Rhino or Bison or Super Lobo or whatever the heck you want to call this car. The main body, as you saw in the last video, is done. So we'll just put that aside. And now I want to focus on the transmission. The trans has these little sleeves that are pressed on, which hold the transmission as well as this little pivot point onto the chassis of the car. So I want to get this out. The other one was broken, which is why it fell off. What I'm going to attempt to do is pop off this little rubber gasket and it should survive. And if not, it's just a two millimeter thick gasket. I can make one and I'll show you why. I'm going to do this in a moment. There we go. Now I have some additional area over here to work with. I'm going to take some of these vice grips. I'm just going to hold it right there. Now, I don't want to mar the surface of the shaft, so I'm going to release the tension on the vice grip so that so that it's just kind of just kind of held there with very little tension and we'll just try and wedge this assembly just like that. We're going to take a punch and this is the punch that I happen to have here. It is a blunt tip because I don't want to actually punch a divot into this and I'll hold it right here. I'm gonna try and zoom out a bit so you can see what's gonna happen. So we'll just hold that punch there. Here's the hammer and we're gonna go ahead and give it a couple taps and it's already moved down. There we go. So there is our little sleeve and now Here's the entire axle assembly, so that's great to put that to the side. It should be pretty straightforward. There's a screw here, here, there, there, and there. Uh, this one here has it on both sides. It's kind of like a little cosmetic feature. Pop off this little Nerf bar thing here. And I noticed there was one additional screw back there. All the screws have been removed. And now I'll do this with everyone on camera here. We'll just open this case up. Wow, very clean, very, very clean. I mean, no surprise there. This has never been user serviced. Uh, we'll be the first ones. And to any of you familiar with the Tamiya transmission and the uh, Grasshopper or the Midnight Pumpkin, this will look very familiar to you. I'm actually quite curious if these are the same gears. We'll put in our standard five by 11 bearing there. Here's our eight by five bearing here and this is a standard Hornet or Grasshopper Midnight Pumpkin counter gear. If I place these side by side, the diameter is identical and the thread pitch is identical. Same with these, the diameter is the same and the thread pitch is the same. We'll pop this out here. A metal shielded bearing here, a silicone shielded bearing on the outside, I usually do that. We'll set the counter gear back on. And then on this side here, I think we'll just have to push everything out. Uh, this differential is very different from the Midnight Pumpkin. It is hard to see. If I do it like this, you can kind of see in there. These are metal bevel gears, not unlike what you might find on the Frog. In fact, just looking in here, they really look quite similar to those Frog or Blackfoot bevel gears. Unfortunately, this is all riveted together, so I will not be disassembling that. I see no reason to, to do that. Okay, I'm gonna pop this brushing out. Again, we'll put our rubber sealed unit there, put our metal shielded unit there, and we will reassemble. And same here, we'll just push that straight in. Oh, there it goes. That's in. And now we can just put all these screws back in. The transmission case is assembled. We'll put our roll pin through there, our hub adapter, like so, and then we can put our tires on. Went ahead and threaded the tires back on, and here's our completed Nico Bison rear transaxle. Unfortunately, we're stuck here. Until we redesign this pivot pin, there's really not much else we can do. So please stay tuned. The next video will be of us putting the transmission in the car by having a redesigned pivot block. Now, I do have a spare one of these. Of course, I don't want to use that because I don't like the idea of having to pound this this uh, this sleeve back onto the shaft. My plan here is to simply create one of these retainers 
that will encapsulate the entire shaft so that the car will be much easier to disassemble in the future. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, we'll be back very soon with an updated uh, bracket here. And then we can finally see this Nico in action. We will see you all very soon.